Hey guys, hey! I know your girlfriends love to watch me, so what better way to say I love you this Valentine's Day than to get your special someone a personalized video from me on Cameo. Get yours now and don't delay, make Valentine's Day a special day! Well, hello guys, hello! Welcome back to another video. Alright, no, no, you already had your chicken and vegetables. Alright, so I'm having sushi today. One, two, three. Welcome back to another video. Wasabi, I won't be needing that. I hate it. Oh, they gave me soy sauce, but I have a cup of light soy sauce, which I don't like, so good. I bought it when I was trying to uh, be super healthy. Anyway. I like the full salt one. Too bad. <laughs> All right. Not that I'm tr not trying to be healthy, but you know what I mean. Okay, so this is my favorite sushi. <sighs> because they don't use like nori seaweed. They use like a soy wrap. Probably not even totally sushi. Everything is fried and has hot sauce dri drizzled on. But you know. All right, so let's set this up and let's get to to business here. Let's talk some stuff. Let's talk some smack. No, I'm kidding. I'm not talking smack. I'm trying to be a nice human being, so I think a lot of you should try to do the same. Let's do a nice human being challenge. No, I don't want to be nice, right? A lot of you are going to say that because it's cool to be mean. Maybe when you're 16, but when you're uh, an adult, or a grandma. There's some mean grandmas online, I'm telling you. It's it's just cooler to be nice, okay? <laughs> I'm being mean to my cat by not giving her any, but she had her chicken and vegetables. Alright, so that's all done. And I have water to drink. So bismillah. Alright. This is crispy crab and something else this is shrimp fried tempura shrimp with cucumber and carrot so I wanted to talk something was on my mind when I think of sushi it reminds me of the sushi place I used to go to with a really close friend of mine. It was like, we would go there pretty often. It was like an all you can eat sushi place where I'm from. But they didn't have only sushi. It was like maybe $27. And they would give you a menu. And you write down the items you want and it's unlimited all you can eat. Okay. So, <laughs> don't show people your fanny. She's mooning you guys. So anyway, I would usually start off with like tempura shrimp, it's like deep fried shrimp, um, hash browns, stuff like that. Then you can order noodles, sushi.
baked mussels with cheese on top. Mm, by the way, yes, I'm still injured, but the show must go on. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I used to go with this really close friend of mine that I've known for a long time and like people always ask me like, do you have friends? And I realized that a lot of friends I used to hang out with before I had a YouTube or I mean at the beginning when I had a YouTube I still had still hung around with them but my friends in Canada I don't really talk to anymore maybe if maybe like one or two on like WhatsApp. And I realized just how isolating being on YouTube can be. Like for me in my case, being a YouTuber can be. Um, I think around the time that a couple years ago, around the time that I was going through like deep addiction and just like um, being in an abusive relationship and everything I kind of started isolating like more and more and I think just grew I didn't it's not that I necessarily I'm not friends with them nothing happened we didn't fall out it's just that I just became so consumed with YouTube and I think that for them like I, I think even one friend admitted to me like it was kind of awkward for them that like because they would like see like for example I think like this one friend tried not to watch my channel because for her it was kind of awkward you know like it was like she felt like she was invading my privacy just by watching it because I wouldn't even talk about these things to my friends you know I've said that before I don't like unloading on people in my real life when I would go out with my friends I just wanted to have fun eat sushi go to a movie go to the mall talk about anything else i mean whenever i was working in an office we would always just gossip about our work or whatever you know but at one point my channel just became very dark and i talked about everything with you with like online with you guys and i didn't want to talk more about it to my friends you know i don't know it's just a totally different vibe in real life friends you know and we just grew apart like I don't know if that had a lot to do with it but I think it did have something to do with it because um and a lot of a lot of you know those people it's not like I had a ton of friends anyway I had like maybe two really good friends that I don't talk to anymore um I don't know I haven't heard their side of it uh maybe a little bit but I know for some friends for some of them it was like they were also kind of they saw how like people would you know trolls or people would like invade my real life and try to ruin it and stuff and they were kind of like afraid of that you know And I can say, well, if a friend is not going to want to talk to me just because I'm going through tough things and stuff like this, then they're not real friends. But I don't feel like I was a real friend either because, like, 
I didn't do anything really much to maintain the relationships, you know. I get like relationship maintenance burnout. And thus you grow further and further apart. I think it just started with the time in between connecting with them would go further and further apart. And, um, you know, And thus, and that way, it can be isolating, you know, because like, I don't have a normal life. When you're on social media and you're controversial, you don't have a normal life. And they're totally, you know, have normal lives. Um, I don't know, I think at just some point I really don't know. I know this looks like a lot of sushi, but I don't find sushi filling at all. I find it's like one of those foods you could just eat and eat and not get full. I don't know why. I get full eating rice, but not when it's in sushi form. Mm. Also With mental illness, you don't have the emotional, like the energy at all sometimes to talk to anybody, you know? So the people I do have in my life now understand that. <laughs> um, I could not have needy friends. But relations, friendships do need work. Like any relationship. You have to put in. And I have nothing to give right now. Nada. So
Yeah. But we used to go to the sushi place a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> and I miss those dinner dates. But at this point, if we got together again, it would be so... There's just so much that's happened in my life online <laughs> since then. I wouldn't even know where to start. Actually, in real life, with my friends, I'm a good listener. I don't like to even talk about myself. The person I used to go out with for sushi, I would look forward to them talking about themselves to, to get my mind off my own problems. And she had a way of storytelling. She's a writer, actually, so she has a very um, good storytelling ability. And she would talk. Sometimes we would go out and just go out for dinner and then go to a cafe and just talk. She would talk for hours. And I would never get bored of listening to her. Never. Because she was so interesting the way she would tell her view on something, you know? That's the difference between a good storyteller and somebody who's just boring. Like, for example, if you have something that happened, oh, this guy got, uh, I don't know, something happens in the news, you know, it could be the most mundane thing, but the way she would talk about it and her, give her spin on it and her insight, it made it interesting. So, one piece left and I feel like I've eaten nothing. I swear, I don't know, it's so weird. But I know I have, so I'm just gonna eat this, give it time. Mmm! Mmm! Oh. <laughs> the tempura cut my the roof of my mouth. Anyway. So yeah, I think too I would isolate myself from these. I didn't want to talk about anything. There was so much drama in my life. I didn't want to talk about it. Um, with them, I think it would be awkward. I don't know. But for some reason, it just we grew apart. The more I was on YouTube, and a lot of that part of that, like a lot of that's my fault. It's probably 50-50. Um, takes two to tango in relationships. Friendships are relationships. Friendships, romantic relationships, whatever. You know? So. And I think it's because the, a lot of things I would open up to you guys about, like the TMIs, are things I never really talked about with my real life friends. A lot of things. Some things yes, some things no. Especially how I'm deeply feeling about something. I just always found it easier to do that on camera. It's so weird. Than face to face with someone. I guess it's just like people being anonymous online and saying what they want. You know, people feel comfortable coming here calling me a fat piece of crap. 
They would never say that to my face. Maybe some people would, but... Yeah. Most people... Excuse me. Most people feel more confident when they're anonymous, you know? Anyway. I guess that's it. Um, for my dinner. That was really good. I haven't had sushi in a while, but... I don't like the raw fish stuff. I don't like it. I, I, I barely, I like cooked fish, but if it's really fishy, no. So if it's raw, it's fishy. I don't know. People say if it's, it's supposed to be really high grade quality, it's not. It still is. I don't know. I mean, if in, a, in the ocean, you can smell the fish. So yeah, you can, it, it's really, raw fish is just too, too intense of a flavor for me for, or the, the texture alone, the text, the mushy texture. No, nope. <laughs> no offense. Anyway, <laughs> um, I guess that's it guys. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to be doing a video talking about another important topic I want to talk about soon. So stay tuned for that. That'll probably be out tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.